All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahava Kakwa. That's the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days all right this lesson is going to be concerning the persecution that will come it's inevitable it needs to happen because if it didn't happen then it wouldn't what be prophecy it needs to happen right and i've done a video on this on one of my other pages and guess what it so happens to be that particular video was deleted that particular video I mean, look, guess what? There's, it's men in the truth that are doing this. But that's okay, because the Lord set you up to do that. But we're going to go into this persecution. Don't fret, don't fret, don't fret. These things need to happen. Let's go to John 16. And start on... This is going to be what? Yes, there's going to be great persecution, but there also is going to be great deliverance. Let's go to John 16. These things have I spoken unto you. This is Yahabashai speaking. Words of comfort. So when these things happen... You can revert back to these scriptures that you should not be offended okay because these things can cause if you don't understand the scriptures it can cause one to be, can, to be offended they shall put you out of their synagogues what's the synagogues the synagogues is a council of men right it's a body it's an assembly it's a church right yeah, the time coming, whosoever will kill you will think he doeth God's service. So you're going to be put out of synagogues for whatever reason. But the main reason, this is this is referring to the, remember, he's speaking to the elect. You were going to be put out of synagogue because you have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So if they were going to put you out of them synagogues, that means they were not really doing the will of Yahweh Shai. They were casting you out of these synagogues. All right? Yeah, the time cometh. That whosoever shall kill if you will think that he doeth the most high service. So it says he think he's gonna those that kill if you they're actually gonna be thinking of doing the most high service. They're actually gonna be thinking of doing God's work when they're not. That means that that means they're under a delusion that they are doing the most high's will when they're not. Okay. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the father nor me so there's men that don't know the heavenly father the most high and there's men that don't know Yahweh Shai that's why they would do these things because they don't understand Yahweh Shai right yes it's out of ignorance right it's out of the blindness of their heart verse 4 but these things have I told you that when the time shall come that ye may remember that I told you of them so Yahweh Shai has given admonishment warnings and these things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you, right? But now I go my way to him that sent me and none of you asking me whither thou goest. So we went into that, right? Now let's go into Luke. Okay. Go to Luke 21. This is Luke 21. And 12 but before all these they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you so it says it clearly says lay their hands on you okay and persecute you so yeah you were going to be persecuted okay greatly okay lay their hands on men we're going to want to get carnal okay like that song let's get physical physical they got they were never going to want to get physical even though this ain't a joke in matter, a little side joke, they were going to want to get physical. They were going to want to get carnal. This is how demonic men are. Because they, that's, that's, they were them same spirits. Persecute you, delivering you up to synagogues. There's that word synagogues again. It's synagogues. Now, this is referring to the, what the buildings and a council. And into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers. Really, there's men in this truth. They want to get you locked up. They want you off the streets. <laughs> they want you off the highways and byways. Why aren't men reading this? Huh? And why are they associating it 
Why aren't they associating it, associating, associating it with, that's a mouthful, with the men that are around you in the truth today? And being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, your local governors, right? Your local governors, right? Of your towns and before the Rothschilds as well, okay? And it shall turn to you for a testimony, a witness. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate. We're not going to need to meditate. Right? What you shall answer. What are you going to say? What are you going to do? We don't need to. You know? In other words, you shouldn't be staying up late at night. Oh, these things are going to happen. What are we going to say? What are we going to do? Bro, Yahweh has got you. Right? Just how we're inspired by the Holy Spirit to speak these words. You have to just go and do the same thing in that time. Because not every brother is going to be in that particular situation. For four, what you shall answer. For I'll give you a mouth from wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. Have it, has anybody been able to gain, say, nor... Has anybody, has anybody been able to gain, say, or resist what you've been saying? The answer is no. So they're not going to be able to gain, say, nor resist the word. And that's why it's always important that you stick to the scriptures don't go outside of the scriptures someone may say i want to know your opinion don't go outside of the scriptures stay in the scriptures okay and it says which all your adversaries adversaries go into enemies right shall not and adversary goes into what shatan shatan is the adversary you got men with the spirit of what satan upon them okay and it says baba kasha baba kasha which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. Right, so they're not going to be able to resist the truth. And you shall be both betrayed by both parents and brethren. That's why you keep these people at arm's length. Right? You have this high vibration, this high energy, you have the Holy Spirit. Don't let them don't let that don't let them invade that. Don't let them take that away. Right? Okay. You're not walking to their tune, they're walking to your tune. Okay. And king's folks and friends. Right, because you may have some individuals in the world. They may even come. They may even come to your parents. Oh, how, how is your son doing? Yeah, we see. Like, is he all right? Just playing up on it, being demons. Oh, is he all right? We see him. We see him out there teaching. We're just, we're just concerned, right? But they don't really understand what this truth is about. That's why they think that way. They think what we're doing is, is, is crazy. It's mad. No, it's not mad. We're reading the Holy Bible, which. A lot of Christians claim to believe in. But when you actually bring them the truth of the scriptures, they feel a particular way. There's a lot of hypocrisy going on. And you shall be both betrayed by both by parents and brethren and kings, folks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. That's why I keep people at arm's length. Because they do anything. They do some sneaky shit behind your back. That's why I keep people at arm's length. It doesn't mean you don't communicate. Because you still need to have somewhat a social life. But you guess what? You do it on what? Your terms, not their terms, right? Because they try to snare you up, get you hemmed up. Okay? And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. This is the reality of what we're involved in. I'm a realist. I deal with reality. When you wake up to the truth, you deal with reality, not lies. Okay? And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Why does it say you're going to be hated of all men? It says all. Because Esau's going to demonize this truth. That's already in the workings, right? Whether it's billboards, your face may be on the news. This is what this man's going to do. And he's also going to use what? Other Israelites that have crept in unaware to do this. Go to, I think it's, is it Galatians? I am just flying with the spirit. We have to trust in Yahweh Shai. It's a must. Go to Galatians 2 and 4. Check this out. And that because of false brethren, so you have false brethren, false, another word for false is feigned. False. Right? Counterfeit. Not the real thing. False brethren. Either way, so they're not really brothers. They're coming into this truth to gather intel. Right? To gather information. Brought in. They were brought in. Right? Whether it was by a camp leader, because you can also have camp leaders that do that as well. Right? Or whether it was unaware, they just never knew, they just they wanted to get into a camp. 
they came across as sincere but they weren't who came in privily privily goes into what stealthily right privily secretly right actually that word spy means stealthily to spy means stealthily to spy to monitor that's the monitoring spirits man to spy right oh that's spiritual and i'm looking at i'm looking at a cloud right now and it looks like two eyes right to spy out our liberty right there's two little um clouds right now and they look just like eyes to spy out our liberty okay that's what they come to do to spy out our liberty that we have in Mashiach okay a lot of men they blown their cover a long time ago right you got these homosexuals these flamers that want to spy on you you get yourself right okay and actually no you know what uh, so, uh, you know let me not snoot stoop to their level and it says who came in privily to spy out our liberty and guess what they stand out like a sore thumb but not in a good way in a bad way right because a spy he needs to try hard right see there's, there's such thing as intelligent spies a spy obviously they have to have some type of level of an intelligence wit about them but you have spies that are just stupid right and that are just brutes okay and it says Bruton came to privilege to spy our liberty which we have so they know we have liberty in Yahweh Shai you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and the scriptures also say use not your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness so we have liberty right and the world hates that because they don't have liberty a spy doesn't have any liberty because that same spy he's been sent by what higher ups so he doesn't have he doesn't he obviously doesn't have any liberty himself right if you're if you're sent to spy on somebody else that means you don't have liberty you're being spied on yourself right but they might bring us into bondage under who under who under esau these are your modern day um Sambos that love Esau these are individuals they want this kingdom to go on right so Esau sends them out right he sends them out and he always uses our own people you've had it in history look at Malcolm X look at Martin Luther King right even though they were still juiced in to society but look they needed to send their own to what take them out right to spy them out even with Khalid Muhammad, look, just look at the pattern, right? To whom he gave place by subjection, not for an hour, but the truth of the gospel might continue with you. So the truth is continuing. There's nothing you can do to really stop it. Now we went to that, Baba Kashar. We're going to go to example of deliverance. These things are going to happen, but there's also going to be what deliverance for the elect, right? See, the, the, the elect, they have an optimistic, very, very, very optimistic mind. Hopeful, that's why we call ourselves hopeful elect. Let's go to Acts 12. Now, at the time, Herod, the king, you should know who Herod is, right? Son of what? Antipater, right? Forced king of the Jews, stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. He was killing half Israelites. And killed James, the brother of John, with the sword, right? And because he saw it pleased the Jews. What? Because he saw it pleased the Jews. So what Jews were that are pleased? Those that were working on behalf of Herod. It said it pleased them. So you have them same spirits back here again today. You have Israelites that they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't care if Esau rolled up on you. They're with that. They're with it. Okay. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Right? When were, were the days of unleavened bread? Right? So this was obviously during what? The Passover. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison. This is Peter. And delivered him the four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter. You know, it's here, here it says Easter. Right? It's not Easter. It was the Passover. Right, that means it was during what spring going into winter, right? To bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of 
the church unto the power unto the most high for him so while peter was locked up there was great prayers for him and guess who was praying for him the elect and the multitude they must have been praying for him as well verse 5 peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the most high for him and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping yeah, this way it gets interesting right he was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains so man two hold on you needed two soldiers to keep eye and monitor peter while he was sleeping right and with chains bound with chains on feet and hands and the keepers before the door kept the prison and behold the angel of the lord Yahabashai, came up upon him and a light shining in the prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise quickly so it says he smote peter on the side that must have hurt it doesn't say if it kicked him but it says it smote him because the punch could have kicked him it doesn't say smote him all right on the side peter on his side and raised him up saying arise up quickly all right get up and his chains fell off from his hands Woo! his chains broke off we're talking about steel metal chains and the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me in other words quickly quickly get dressed put on your sandals put on your garment and he went out and followed him and was not that it was true which was done by the angel so while this was happening peter was still thinking he was thinking he was in the dream okay but thought he saw a vision right he thought he saw a vision and he went out and followed him and was not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he saw a vision so he, he have it is he's thinking this is a vision <sighs> okay and it says when they were past the first and second wards they came unto the iron gate key thing the iron gate right and this is what coming out of the prison okay that leadeth unto the city and there was a city that outside the back so they they left out of the back and with this there was what a city a city right a street okay and for with the angel departed from him what what's that that's deliverance okay and when peter was come to himself he said now i know of a surety that the lord shall have sent his angel right and he have delivered me out of the hand of herod can you imagine the amount of faith you that's that's a faith booster delivered from prison <laughs> okay and have delivered me out of the hand of herod and from all the expectation of the people of the jews stop right there you know what it says from all the expectation of the jews because the jews what the jew that was the jews were in on that so it's also showing you yes the wicked of our people a lot of the persecution has to do with the wicked of a lot of our people that are holding bibles in their hands all right and it says and when he had considered the thing he came to the house of mary the mother of john whose surname was mark where many were gathered together praying who were they praying for peter and as peter knocked at the door of the gate a damsel right came to hearken named rhoda damsel means a young lady that's what a damsel is right and back in the back in the days guess what even king david he dealt with a damsel right what a lot what are you going to say what are you, what are you going to call that huh clowns we've got a lot of men that are emotional they don't even believe in the scriptures they have a problem with certain things in the scriptures right the scripture offends them and when she knew peter's voice she opened not the gate for gladness because she was so awestruck but ran in and told how peter stood before the gate and they said unto her thou art mad why did they say that unto her right the damsel rhoda because he was locked up right well they thought he was locked up but she constantly affirmed that it was even so Ren said they it is an angel right now nah, so they thought now nah, that can't be peter maybe it's one of his angels okay but peter continued knocking <laughs> and when they had opened the door and saw him they were astonished surprised 
but he beckoning unto them with hand to hold their peace. So he beckoned them, so he was patting them on the what packing them, patting them on the back or whatever, saying, Hold that peace, just calm down. You know, okay. Declared unto them how the Lord had brought how the Lord Joshua had brought him out of the prison, and he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren, and he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. Uh, they're in trouble now. What was become of Peter? Oh, how did Peter? How, where was he gone? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. Right? The keepers now, because that's a that's a very very serious job. Right? You're a keeper of a prisoner, and, and now you have the prisoners gone. And it says. And he went down to Judea to Caesarea and there a boat. And Judea at that time was Jerusalem, which was a what? A Roman province. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Ter and Saddam, but they came with one accord to him, and having made blasphemous the king's chamberlain, their friend desired peace. Because their country was nourished by the by the by the king's country. And upon a set day Herod arrayed in royal apparel sat upon his throne and made an oration unto Rem right and the people gave a shout saying it is the voice of a power and not of a man right they were extolling him before who the heavenly father right and immediately the angel of the Lord Jehovah smote him <laughs> because he gave not the most high the glory that's why you want to give Jehovah glory because Jehovah could do anything to you, giving yourself your own vain glory and he was eaten of worms. Ugh, he was basically um, rotting from the inside out and gave up the spirit. But the word of the Most High grew and multiplied. And Barnabas, key thing, and Barnabas, and Saul returned from Jerusalem. And when they had fulfilled their ministry, right, and took them with John, whose surname was Mark, right? So, which the ministry was fulfilled. Okay, and he took him with Mark with him. He was fulfilled in Jerusalem, so they went to different what places. So this is beautiful. Okay, now that was in the church, bear me just a minute. There's so much, there's so much meat on this. So much. Okay, there's so much meat. So what? There is deliverance in the midst of all this. There is deliverance. Let's go to Acts 13. Okay, this is Acts 13. Now they were in the church that was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger and that's where you get that word nigger, right? And Lucius of Cyrene and Manion which had been brought up with Herod the Tretriarch of Sal as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Spirit said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work where until I called Rem and when they fasted and prayed, laid their hands on them, and they sent them away. So they being sent forth by the Holy Spirit, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence sailed to Cyprus. So they were travelling to these different locations, right, with this word. And when they were at Salamis, Ray preached the word of the Most High in the synagogues of the Jews, and they also had John as their minister, all right? And when they had gone through the isles and Patmos, they found a sorcerer, a false prophet, who's false prophet, a Jew whose name was Barjesus. We're going to shut off soon. Which was the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word. Right? So you had a deputy, an officer. And it limits the sorcerer for so is his name by interpreting, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. So you also have seducing spirits that seek to what? Turn away those from the faith. Right? When Saul, who also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him and said, I was full of subtlety and mischief and child of the devil, that enemy of all righteousness, will I not seek to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon it, that shall be made blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately they fell up him in the midst of darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. When the deputy, when he saw that was done, believed, being astonished of the doctrine of the Lord, Jehovah Shah, so there was many miracles, and that individual had to be there right that false prophet that witch right 
just so that miracle could be shown to the deputy and he could be converted to the faith so there were so many things that were happening so many miracles and as we see yeah there's going to be great persecution but with that persecution there's going to be great deliverance okay so with this lesson i really 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 hope this was edifying continue to have faith continue to pray and until the next one shalom to the hopeful elect shalom